Aloha from Lanai, Hawaii, everybody. I'm Linda Kavlin Popoff, and this is an opportunity for me to speak to you about how do we ride the waves during this coronavirus. I think of it as virtues in the time of corona, uh, a, a time where we are called to a whole new response to something we've never experienced before. And I'm thinking all the time about Buckminster Fuller's statement of think globally, act locally. And I think now is the time that we, during this outbreak, this is a defining moment for a breakthrough for us personally, individually, as families, and as a global community. So I'm, to me, it's a huge opportunity to shift into a whole new consciousness about the earth. One of the ways that I pray every day is for the entire world. And I picture the planet surrounded by the winds of God's grace. And I think all of us need to focus on hope and positivity, even if we're scared, even if we're really worried about the unknowns, which of course we are. So <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to share today is something about how the, the first page of the Virtues Project website came about. My, my brother, John Cavillan, was diagnosed with um, terminal brain cancer about 10 years ago. And he told me and my husband, Dan, that his last wish was for us to create a beautiful website. And we set about to do that. But I could not find a visual image for the homepage. And one day, to my absolute astonishment, only a few days before he died, John said to me, Lynn, I'm going upstairs and I'm going alone. Now, I didn't he wasn't out of my sight for more than 30 seconds when he was awake. And I just, I felt very scared, but I had to be respectful. And he walked up the steps, pulling himself up by the banister. And he said, I'm going to work on the homepage. Now he wasn't able to find the button on the coffee pot by this time with his brain cancer. And I thought, oh, he's going to suffer so much. But he went up and it was very quiet. And when I couldn't stand it any longer, I went up and there he was sitting in front of his laptop with an image of the earth and the sun coming over the, the rim of the, the earth. I said, John, how did you do that? He said, I have no idea, <laughs> but I think it's a miracle. And what came into my mind were the words to go with that picture of the globe. There is no they, only us. And so to me, this is the attitude we have to have because this is a time for us to change the dynamic of how we relate to each other in the world. Take caring, care of our poor, take care of the people around us. And that's everybody. And so to me, the real calling right now is for global unity and for us to circle around us the people that we love and who love us and then to reach out and create other circles where we're looking after the ones who are the most vulnerable and the most needy. And so I'm really encouraging everybody to think globally and act locally if you have food to share, share it with someone that needs it, that you know doesn't have enough or maybe doesn't cook for themselves. If you can contribute to some of the causes that are reaching out to the refugees and the people in countries that don't have a lot of resources, please do that. But it's time for us to really focus on the fact that we are the stewards of this precious earth. And this is a chance for us to clear the skies 
for us to clear the waters, for us to heal all of us. Thank you for listening. <laughs>